Hello, I'm WBZ TV meteorologist Barry Burbank, and I have your forecast for the rest of this Mother's Day and for the next several days. And it looks like we're in for a big change in the weather. A, a remarkable mammoth change in the jet stream is going to mean a big difference to us as we go through the next few days. Too bad we couldn't have had that weather accelerate in here for a nice sunny afternoon for Mother's Day, but that just is not going to be in the cards because it looks like the system which gave us the heavy rain earlier this morning is going to continue to plague us through the afternoon hours with bands of mostly lighter showers and mist going by, especially affecting eastern Massachusetts. We've had one to one and a half inches of rain. Some places have had a bit more than an inch and a half already. A few places didn't get quite an inch, but it looks like by the time it's all done by late tomorrow morning, most places will have had in the order of one to as much as two inches out of this. Wind advisories up along the coast till 8 o'clock this evening by the National Weather Service. For the most part, the winds will be running 15 to 25, but right along the immediate coast, there will be a few gusts of 40 to 45 throughout the afternoon. And it was cold enough, so we had snow falling in higher elevation locations this morning from the parts of the Berkshires up through uh, the Green Mountains and into western New Hampshire. Some of the higher elevations from the uh, Monadnock region had some snow this morning and northward up into uh, northern New Hampshire and western Maine in the higher elevations. This picture from Brian Sullivan in Stratton, Vermont, where they had a few inches of snow there. We even had some snow mixed with the rain in parts of northwestern Worcester County, but it mainly was rain, and it was going down the drain, except it came down so hard, it was uh, actually causing some flooding in poor drainage spots this morning from some of our weather watches, like Falmouth had 1.9, Centerville had almost 1.8, Charlton 1.7, Northbridge almost 1.5, and Webster a little bit over 1.4 inches for some examples there. So that certainly has cleansed the atmosphere, and for those of you who suffer through some of this tree pollen this time of the year, you should be in pretty good shape today because the levels are very low thanks to all the rain which fell. But they're going to start to trickle back up tomorrow, especially later in the day, and then start really spiking on Tuesday and Wednesday, high levels of pollen once again with the wind blowing and the hot weather coming on back here. So for Mother's Day, just a miserable sort of day, but um, it looks like we've had some hot ones and the record high Mother's Day temperature was 92. The hottest Mother's Day ever was back in 1970. The coldest Mother's Day was back in 1962 at 36. The wettest Mother's Day, much wetter than today is, was back in 2006 when Boston had approaching four inches of rain. We had flooding all over the place. It was very, very bad. We had a week's worth of rain amounting to 10 to 20 inches of rain in the region and causing a lot of flooding, especially in eastern and northeastern Massachusetts and in northern New England. The snowiest back in 1938, almost an inch. So May has been a chilly month so far. We've had a cold week here with all these blue squares that we just had. But that's going to change as we have a lot of red squares coming up in the week ahead. It's going to really start boosting the temperature. Of course, the blue one today, where the mean temperature is way below at minus 3.7 after having a pretty warm April. So we're in the cold corner of the country this afternoon for Mother's Day, only in the upper 40s here, some lower 50s on the Cape, maybe some upper 50s in western New England where the sun may come through the clouds later this afternoon. But all this warmth spread out across the nation on this Mother's Day is on a beeline for Boston, and we will not miss it this time. It's not going to be cut off the pass. There's not going to be cold air out of, coming out of Canada to force the warm air to go to the south of us. This time, it's really going to stream in here, but we've got to get rid of this storm center first, and it's going to continue to plague us through the afternoon hours. Of spiral bands of showers will continue to pivot around that and continue to cause some rain from time to time in eastern sections. While there probably won't be too much rain in central and western New England, just some isolated, scattered showers out there, uh, then it looks like we'll have some of this rain pivoting around in the early morning hours and coming right back in at us around the morning commute. So it's going to be wet for the morning commute, and then it's going to taper off sometime around midday or during the afternoon with a few leftover spiral bands of showers still uh, plaguing us. But some breaks of sun by later tomorrow afternoon. Now that we have sunsets almost at 8 o'clock, and, and it does happen on May 16th on Tuesday will be our first 8 o'clock sunset of the year. So it looks like it's going to be a really sunny, beautiful day all day long on Tuesday with that 8 o'clock sunset. Meantime, tomorrow night, the clouds will start to push offshore. Complete clearing takes place in the early morning hours of Tuesday along the coast. So we'll be starting off Tuesday morning bright and sunny in the low and middle 50s, and then we'll be off to the races. The question mark for today is this afternoon, what will happen with the Red Sox game? Will they be able to have it, or is it just going to be too wet? Uh, there will be some lingering showers, mostly light, some mist around from time to time, upper 40s to 
maybe close to 50, the cold breeze as well, not a terribly strong wind. But look what happens to the jet stream. It really changes. It changes so it brings the warm air right up into the area here on Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday. It really maxes out in here. And then we have this cool pool coming out of Canada, so the wind changes again at the end of the week and we start to cool off, but not terribly so. It just starts to cool off at the end of the week after we nudge 90 on Thursday, the record high on Thursday, May 18th in Boston, 91 back in 1936. Have a shot at getting very close to that. There could be a couple of showers of storms in western and northern New England late Thursday or Thursday evening. Front comes through here Friday morning, so it's still going to be very warm Friday morning in the 70s, and then falling off to the 60s Friday afternoon. So that's looking way ahead, but right now next weekend's looking pretty good. We'll have some hot weather starting Wednesday and Thursday. It turns into a beautiful day on Tuesday. I know I'm backing up here, but tomorrow is the transition day when it should get better late in the day after some morning rain. And, of course, you know what you got is what you see out there for this Mother's Day. Anyway, have a happy Mother's Day. You can watch WBZ News tonight at 6.30 and 11 o'clock. Also, you can see it on uh, MyTV38 at 8 o'clock for all the latest news and weather updates. Have a nice Mother's Day.